happy, but I'm sad. This relationship and I say yes, I'm happy, you know? But if you don't ask me, you're forcing me to do something I don't want to do, you know? Not to say that I'm not okay with a polyamorous relationship, because I am, but I'm just saying, like, niggas need to keep it real. Y'all out here trying to, like, force people to do things, you know? I'm just saying, because I know of a few examples I can throw out there. When you lose your virginity, I was a little girl, baby. My first boyfriend, he took advantage of me. I don't know. That's how I talk. Like, what happened? What's wrong with me using the N-word? Like, what's wrong with y'all thinking that I'm a white bitch or something? I'm not white. I'm light-skinned. <laughs> Do you support kill old man? No, I love men. Not when you jam a lover boy. What type of relationship is that? That's what I'm saying. Like, it's like, if I'll respect it. You know what I mean? I'll respect it if a nigga comes to me and says, listen, what I'm looking for is a polyamorous relationship. And I'll be like, listen, why the fuck do I have a filter on my face? And I'll be like, listen, if I'm okay with it, I'm okay with it. Right? But don't come to me after I said no. Like, if that's going to be okay. Like, you're going to impose your motherfucking ways? Like, what the fuck? Free the who? Free the net? Well, you know where the fuck to go, nigga. Like, <laughs> I'm gonna free it in a couple minutes. How many sm cigarettes do you smoke per day? <laughs> Bitch, I don't smoke cigarettes. Well, very sexy girl. Hey, love you. Love y'all too. But no, seriously, we're talking about polyamorous relationships right now. Polyamorous relationships. I'm okay with them. I respect the nigga who comes to you straight up. What I cannot respect, I'm gonna keep repeating this. What I cannot respect. Is a nigga trying to bring another girl in a relationship and you're supposed to be okay because what? Because I'm already, I love you already and I'm so Love is not about that, people. Y'all need to realize your teeth clean and so white. I just brush my teeth every day. <laughs> I haven't gotten a whitening in years, though. It's been like three years since I got my last whitening. I need to go get a whitening. The first time I ever went to get a whitening, the girl thought I had veneers and she's like, I can't give you a whitening. And I'm like, why? She's like, because we don't do veneers. We don't do whitening on veneers. And I'm like, dude, these are my teeth. <clears throat> she ain't got no back. Free the nip, mommy. What do you mean when you say I don't have a back? Like my back is small. I know. I love it. My bras, when I buy them, they're 34. And everybody's like, are you sure you're not a 36, 38? And I'm like, no, my back is small. <laughs> my boobs are double D's though. Stop talking ghetto, you're better than that. Okay, I won't talk ghetto. Let's talk very polite and educated. I mean, I can do that as well. I just feel like I don't need to like perform on a level of like I'm on a stage here doing a whole fucking speech. Like this is Instagram. This is just us interacting. Like I like to keep it humble on here, guys. Like I don't have to use big words. Some people won't understand them, okay? Uh, baddies. I'm coming to OnlyFans right now. I just wanted to announce myself. I lost my V at nine. Damn, nigga, you got raped at nine. Thank you. I love being myself. This is what I love being is myself. <laughs> Guys, can you please approach your ladies next time with honesty?